Now, what about the form of power of product of sine and cosine? So, case number one, if either m or n is odd, this is what we are going to do. But before that, these are the related formulas that you need to memorize. That this will be encountered in this situation. Sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta is 1. So that's why sine squared is 1 minus cosine squared. And cosine squared is 1 minus sine squared. And from the double angle identity also, that cosine 2 theta is 1 minus 2 sine squared of theta. So from here, solving sine squared theta, it will become 1 minus cosine 2 theta over 2. That is sine squared theta. The purpose of this is to reduce the exponent of sine and be transformed into cosine to the 1 to theta. Okay? And also from cosine 2 theta, that is also 2 cosine squared theta minus 1. So bring this to the left, that is 1 plus cosine 2 theta over 2, that is cosine squared theta. So this is another formula that we might need in this form. So the derivative of sine is cosine, the derivative of cosine is negative sine theta d theta. So let me illustrate how to attack powers of sine and cosine. Let us have this one. Integral of sine to the fifth cosine cube x dx, both of them are add. Okay? So what you are going to do is just choose one power which is add and then take the cosine or the sine to the one of that particular power. For example, I choose cosine because this is odd. So this is going to be the integral of sine to the fifth of x cosine squared of x cosine x dx. Now the objective is this. This cosine x dx, this is the derivative of sine of x. Right? So, if I can convert this into power of sine, then it would be reduced to power formula. Now, cosine squared can be transformed to sine, right? So, this is going to be equal to the integral of sine to the fifth of x. Cosine squared is 1 minus sine squared of x multiplied by cosine x dx. Now, moving this or bringing this inside, we will have here integral of sine to the fifth of x times 1. So, sine of x to the fifth minus sine to the fifth times sine squared. That is sine of x to the seventh. Now, multiplied by cosine of x dx. I repeat, this is derivative of sine. And these are powers of sine. If your sine of x, this one, is u, so this is u to the fifth. This is u, so this is u to the seventh. So, if u is sine of x, d of u is cosine x dx. So, this is d of u. So, we are reduced to integral of u to the fifth du and integral of u to the seventh du. By power formula, just increase the exponent by 1 and then divide it by the power. So, this is going to be integral of u to the fifth u to the 5th du, that is u to the 6 over 6. So this is sine to the 6 of x over 6 minus sine to the 8 of x, that is 7 plus 1, over 8 plus c. This is the integral of this one. You get it? 
So, will the answer be the same if we choose to work on sine instead of cosine because this is add? Let us see. So, this is equal to cosine to the cube of x. Let's take 1 sine to the 1 from sine to the 5th. So, that would be sine to the 4th of x sine x dx. Now, remember that sine of x dx is negative of the derivative of cosine because the derivative of cosine is negative of sine. So, if I will multiply this by negative 1, to offset that, multiply it also by negative, this is now the derivative of cosine of x. So, the objective now is to make everything here cosine. So, sine to the fourth may be written as sine squared squared. So, this is sine squared of x squared times negative sine of x dx. And sine squared in terms of cosine is 1 minus cosine squared. So, this is going to be negative integral of cosine cube of x. This is 1 minus cosine squared of x squared times negative sine x dx. So, expanding this one, you'll get here negative integral of cosine cube of x. 1 minus cosine squared squared, the square of a binomial is the square of the first one, minus twice their product, 1 times cosine squared is cosine squared of x plus square of the second. So, cosine to the fourth of x times negative sine x dx. Now, so we have here negative integral of bringing this in you'll get cosine x cube this is cosine cube of x minus 2 cosine cube times cosine squared cosine to the fifth or this is cosine of x to the fifth plus cosine cube cosine to the fourth this is cosine of x to the 7 times negative sine of x dx. So, remember that this is derivative of cosine. So, if cosine of x will be taken as u, so this is u cube. This is u to the fifth. This is u to the seventh. Derivative of cosine is negative sine x dx, so this is the u. So this is just merely power formula. So negative integral of u cube du is u to the fourth over four, so that is going to be cosine to the fourth of x over four minus two. Integral of u to the fifth is u to the six, cosine to the six of x over six plus integral of u to the seven, that is u to the eight. So we have cosine to the eight of x over eight plus c. So the only difference is that our answer is in terms of power of cosine instead of power of sine. But if the two have limits, okay, the answer will be identical. Okay? So, therefore, this is going to be negative cosine to the fourth of x. So, this is one fourth minus minus plus one third cosine to the six of x plus 1 negative of plus it's minus 1 8 of cosine to the 8 of x plus c. This will be your integral of this one. You follow? So between the two options, as you can see, 
this is the shorter solution. So, if both of them are odd, choose to manipulate the one with the lower exponent or with the lower power because the solution will be shorter. Okay? If one of them is odd and the other is even, we don't have any other option but to work out on the odd. So, this is going to be equal to the integral of cosine to the fourth of x. You bring out sine from sine to the 7 so this becomes sine to the 6 of x times sine of x dx this is negative derivative of cosine so our objective is to convert everything to cosine and the technique is using this one so sine to the 6 may be written as sine squared of x to the cube times let me multiply this by negative negative sine x dx multiply it also by negative outside to offset the negative inside negative negative positive one okay so this is derivative of cosine so we make this in terms of cosine so this is going to be negative integral of cosine to the fourth of x sine squared from this identity is 1 minus cosine squared of x cubed times negative sine x dx now to expand this let me use the binomial formula coefficients using the pascal's triangle this is cubed there will be four terms in the Pascal's triangle, 1, 1, 1, 1 plus 1, 2, then 1, and 1, 1 plus 2, 3, 3, then 1, and 1. These are the coefficients corresponding to the expansion of this because this is cube. The expansion will contain four terms with coefficients 1, 3, 3, 1. Okay? So, this would be negative integral of cosine to the fourth of x the expansion of this this is cube contains four terms one two three and four so multiplied by negative sine x d x so we copy the first and the second term one cosine squared of x 1 cosine squared of x 1 cosine squared of x 1 cosine squared of x okay and then we add their exponents so this is 3 so the highest power of 1 is 3 2 1 and 0 and then the, co the exponent of cosine squared, the highest is 3. It is the reverse of the exponent of 1. 3, 2, 1, then 0. Any number raised to 0 is 1. Then we include the coefficients 1, 3, 3, 1. So it is 1, 3, 3, then 1. Since this is negative, they will have alternating sign. Plus, minus, plus, and minus. You get it? So, what we are going to get here will be the negative integral of 1 cubed times 1 is 1. And we bring this in. Cosine to the 4 times 1 is cosine to the 4th of x or cosine x to the fourth right this is minus 3 cosine squared to the 1 is cosine squared times cosine to the fourth this is cosine squared to the fourth that is cosine to the six cosine x to the six plus 3 cosine squared squared cosine to the fourth times cosine to the fourth this is going to be cosine to the 
8 of x or cosine x to the 8. Minus 1 times 1 to the 0 is 1. So, cosine squared cubed cosine to the 6 times cosine to the 4th, that is cosine x to the 10. You get it? Multiplied by negative sine x dx. If cosine x is u, your d of u is negative sine of x dx. This one. This is d of u. So, this is u to the 4th. This is u to the 6th. This is u to the 8th. This is u to the 10th. Integral of u to the n du is u to the n plus 1 over n plus 1. So, therefore, this is just the negative of co-integral of u to the 4th, u to the 5 over 5. So, this is cosine to the 5th of x over 5 minus 3. Integral of u to the 6 is u to the 7 or cosine to the 7 of x over 7 plus 3. Integral of cosine x to the 8 or u to the 8 is u to the 9 cosine to the 9 of x over 9 minus integral of u to the 10 is u to the 11 or cosine to the 11 of x over 11 plus c. You get it? So therefore, we simplify this is going to be negative 1 fifth cosine to the fifth of x minus minus plus 3 over 7 cosine to the 7 of x minus of plus minus 3 over 9 is 1 third cosine to the 9 of x minus minus so it's plus 1 over 11 cosine to the 11 x plus e. This is the integral of this one. You get it?